guess what? I'm sponsored! Today is very, very interesting because I have been sponsored by a brand who sells Japanese sweets and candy. Sweetie Tan is the same thing, but I'm so excited about this because I don't live in Japan right now and I am half Japanese. I love Japanese sweets and things like that, but it's not really easy to get it where I am in my country. Of course, you can get a few things, things like that, but it's like really expensive. So being able to actually know that it's possible to buy candy from Japan cheaply makes me so happy. Thank you. Thank you. One of the biggest things that I miss the most, like whenever I go to Japan, like, oh, boom, I buy the candy. Well, like my grandparents do, but like, you know what I mean. So, let's open it. I've got this knife with me because like, I don't really know how to open boxes, but let's do this. Oh, I just realized my previous video was also like a boxing. And his name box. is John C. It's like a new thing of mine. Like, that's what I do. So, before I open this, um, the brand that has decided to sponsor me and give me this lovely packaging of Japanese sweets and candies is called Box Candy. And pretty much they provide like a variety of different Japanese sweets and things like that for the cheapest prices outside of Japan. Like honestly, like they are so cheap for what they are. I live in Hong Kong right now and when I go into supermarkets or like Japanese like stores and things like that like the candy is so expensive that I don't even want to have it anymore like it puts me off like I lose my appetite looking at the prices so having this mm, I don't want to kiss it because like time for the big reveal you can't even see oh! I could cry right now this is so nostalgic Haichu. Haichu is amazing. This is like, mwah. I'm just gonna eat one piece of each one because I don't wanna get too fat, you know? That's just asking for diabetes. But anyway, here it is. I think most of you know what Haichu is. If you don't, um, it's like a chewy substance. It's like, it's really hard to explain, sorry. But this is great flavor that I'm having, so let's give it a go. are immaculate. I used to have haichu like every day when I was younger, like when I went to school. But yeah, haichu, I should definitely give it a 10 out of 10. Okay, time for number two. I'm gonna go with this one. Can you see it? These are like a little bit like soury, like mint, but they're not mint. The texture is like mint, but then the flavor is more soury, like balls. <laughs> I don't know how to explain them, but like these were really good. I didn't really have these too often when I was younger. It was more like the thing that my friends would have that I would just steal from them. Like, I don't know why, it's just like something that my mom never bought for me. Like, I definitely always, always, always want them. Hence, getting it from my friends and things like that. But let's give this second option a go. Here it is. One ball. out of 10 just because like I don't have that nostalgic feeling towards it right um I don't think I can get through every single one because I will end up with diabetes by the end of this video time for sweet number three which is so these are called ramune which um is also a Japanese drink like a soda a soda drink um so it's like the, has the same flavor as that these are something that i used to always have like these are really really iconic like everybody like everybody wants them pretty much uh let's give this one a try honestly i haven't had this in a really long time so it's just like this it's like one ball thing Oof. one thing i really really love about japanese snacks is that it's like you eat one like you open the package and you have one, like have a piece, and you're not obligated to finish the whole thing. It's like a packet of crisps where it's like you open it and you kind of like have to finish the whole 
like all of the crits just because like it's not like an easy way to like close it or something like that so with like all the Japanese snacks it's like this is like a bottle so it's like you literally just put back the bottle and it like won't come out and then you can save them for another time so these I would definitely give around a 9 out of 10 it has a very distinct taste which is like oh like if you know you know here is the next product that I will be testing. This is also grape flavor and it's like strips of grape chewy gummies with like soury like flakes on top. <laughs> oh my god, the like soury flakes on top like that is what makes it good. I oh know I just really like soury type candies. And Japan like do so many varieties of that. I'm gonna give it 11 out of 10. I had to. So this packaging came from Box Candy, and I'll link the description down below where you can actually buy it. I highly recommend you buy it because like if you've never tried Japanese candy and sweets, like this is like the perfect thing to try. Please try that out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you some other time when I can think of a video. Thank you.